Hey everyone, welcome back. Seems that uh, Jill is doing a little bit better after having a talk with Oma yesterday. But let's check to see what's going on. Update. Lilium receiving... Lilium's receiving mysterious message update. It looks like we are about to uh, record a, and transcribe one of the messages sent from one of the comprised digit, uh, yeah, comprised signals. Joe Wren, the anchor for our popular TV newscast, served as our very own test subject for the investigation. White noise. Who are you? Are you really alive? <laughs> You're special to me. You're everything to me. It's time to become one. White noise intensifies. End of transmission further developing as we find it. And Oshin's rejection has taken 80 lives this year. The Health Observatory just released their annual reports on nanomachine rejection cases. The total number of report cases has risen to 80 and increased from 65 cases reported last year. Nanomachine pollution was particularly strong this year due to the recent protests. Wrote the observatory, protests caused the police force to release new variations of nanomachines. Their function's still unclear, but according to our sources, they intended for uh, crowd control purposes. It's unlikely we'll find a cure in the near future, and we can only hope causes like this will become rare in the following years. And model warrior Julian returns. This February... The classic magical girl show, Model Warrior Julian, is coming back to public television this February after almost two decades of absence. Even though the show has been on everyone uh, on demand service for a while, now most of Glitch City citizens need to think twice before subscribing to any non-essential services, especially the lower classes who have a limited number of internet purchases per year. The show's return is certainly welcome. Today's parents will finally be able to share a piece of their childhood with their kids without risking dinner or breakfast. It's all good there. Any new ones here? I think those were old. Was Grand Slam Fighters new? I can't remember. Is anyone into wrestling here? Because I'm a huge fan of GSF. Very recently, it's a uh, really sold, you know, solid product in my opinion. Better, much better than the E. I like the match quality, but I wish they gave importance to the mid card. Are they still forcing 66 American Kid into the main event. Yep, he's going to face Yuzuki at uh, the Dome Show. Ugh. Why don't they push the Great DK instead? He's much more talented than 66. Because American Kid actually moves merch unlike your indie darling. I wonder if American Kid is this is a reference to uh, John Cena. I want to marry Yusuke. Who's hyped for the women's championship? That one should be the main event, not the turd we're getting instead. 66 is pretty good. It's just watch some of his work in Japan. Everyone tells me 66 was better in Japan, but all I see is... Locks and arm bars, nothing that impressive. Wrestling's fake. <laughs> Lies. It's real. Thing new here. Thanks, GC. Dome concert. Dream person. Yeah. Every now and then, like, what if. I can't remember. If I think we read this one. If not, you can be sure to tell me in the comments. And I'll read it uh, next time. Okay, suddenly I have the urge to hug her. But who? Alma or my boss or whatever. But let's go to work. We paid our bills. We're not poor, but eight thousand for electric bills is outstanding. And it's the night before Christmas. Good evening, all. Ah, hey, Jill. How are you feeling? I won't say good, but... Not that bad, I guess. That's nice to hear. Where's Gil? Did he run away again? 
Nah, I have him on an errand duty. Buying the drinks for tomorrow. That sounds weird coming from the owner of a bar. Every drink from here would come out of our own funds. So, if we're going to spend money, we might as well get more variety. Besides, those kind of walks are always good for Gil. I'm saying I think he lives here almost all the time. Well, you're the boss. Who's coming so far? Well, there's the three of us, the dogs. You invited Titty Hacker. Gil invited Jamie. Oh yeah, I also invited Dorothy when I called her to spend the night with you. That well, sounds good so far. Invite anyone else you feel like inviting. The more the merrier. I could, but everyone's made plans by this point. Well, that's true. I'll be in my office. Call me should uh, anything arise. All right. Let's see. What do we want to put in? I don't think we've gotten anything new. Um, let's get rid of you. Cause we're we're not feeling bad, so we don't need all these songs that have very depressing. That's why I just took that off. Very depressing songs uh, titles in them. There. That's good enough. Well, it is time to mix drinks and change lives. Wait here, I'll check inside. Welcome to Valhalla. And I don't know who either you are. Oh, a BTC bar. Excuse me, do you know where the Athena Convention Center is? Why does this place make people get lost so easily? They should call it the Minotaur Center. Hold on, let me scribble the directions on paper. I'm guessing maybe they're going to the... the Kiramiki concert, maybe? Thanks. Go to the right when you see the building filled with hobos. This should be it. Thanks a lot. Anything else I can help you with? Hmm, nah. What the hell, I'll have a drink. What about you? Um... A brandy teeny, please. Right. There, brandy teeny. One, two, a three, four, five, and a six. Three and one of you. Aged and mixed. Here you are. Thanks. That's an interesting outfit in this cold season, Miss Velia. Well, I'm actually cosplaying, so call me Velia for the time being. And your Lilium friend is... Essentia. I get it, you're cosplaying too. Sure, let's go with that. Have you heard of a game called Why I Why as that's Y two K? Yeah, I think that's probably what's gonna be just for the humor. I don't think it's Y I I K, but yeah, Y two K. That cult classic game that has uh, seen like three remastered versions made by six different companies this year. That's the one. We're in a cosplay group dedicated to it, and we got lost on the way. I heard you talking to someone outside. Oh, yeah. A friend is cosplaying as Alex. I told him to wait outside. Well, shouldn't he enter? He'll be fine. Uh, something amiss? There's a girl behind you. Short hair, black sailor uniform, missing an arm. Wearing jeans under a skirt. Um... Now, now, don't spook the bartender. Spook. <clears throat> Anything else? I'll get a fluffy dream and be on my way. And you? I am fine. If you ask for a fluffy dream, the Lilium still freaks me out. I wonder if she saw that, uh... AI ghost that we saw at the start of the game. I wonder if that's who they're mentioning. Uh, Fluffy Dream. Another one which I don't remember 
making, or if I have, I haven't made it that often. And you get the alcohol. Aged mixed. Looks good. Here we go. Yep, this is the thing. Seriously though, should you leave your friend outside like this? He'll be fine. He started chatting with one of those vending machines. They were talking about R&B music. Well, does your friend prefer the, the uh, 80s R&B or the 70s? 80s, I think. Oh shit. Boss, Diddy, R&B. I'm coming. Um, you see, Diddy is a 70s purist. He has a uh, taser people for uh, even liking, or he has tased people for even liking 80s R&B before. He got tased. <sighs> oh god. He'll be fine. Vending machines have very weak tasers. He'll be confused for a couple of minutes, but that will be that. You should go check on him, though. All right. Thanks again for the directions. Please come again. Rap. Serious business. So, uh, at least it wasn't uh, Franco Belgani com comic options this time. Black sailor uniform? I hope I'm not just overthinking it. See, Jill's thinking what I'm thinking. More importantly, though, jeans under the skirt? Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey, Dorothy. Oh, hey, honey. Yep, ah, there you are. Right there. Are you okay? I just kind of wandered in here. I guess I'm a bit distracted. Can Williams just wander? Well, can I get you anything? Oh, um, yeah, sugar rush. Yeah, that. Right. Man, Dorothy seems down. She asked for a sugar rush, but she hasn't uh, told me about a drink that cheers her up. God, she has, hasn't she? But I can't remember it. God damn. Wasn't a bleeding Jane. God. I wish I remembered what that is. That's going to bug me now. I'm going to have to go with the sugar rush. But I bet you if you give her the other drink, it gives you a different... Uh, different uh, dialogue. Damn. I want to say maybe it's a brandy teeny, but I'm not sure. Uh, just mixed. Just have curiosity. Do I want to do a brandy teeny? I'm going to do it. Probably going to mess it up, but I want to say that she likes drinking brandy. No, that was Alma who liked brandy teenies. Maybe it was a piano woman. <sighs> Let's just go to Sugar Rush. I'm gonna have to look back now and see what that drink was, though. Uh, just mixed, right? One sugar rush. Thanks. Seeing her down is so weird. So much silence. By the way, thanks for staying with me the other day. Turns out I really needed that. So, did you enjoy the soda? 
Oh, did you find that one out? Is it supposed to be a secret? No, but don't go around telling anybody about that. I did because it was you who needed my help, but Hug Knight is usually one of my most expensive services. It is? Hey, I don't know if the client has body odor or something like that. Not to mention it limits the chance of getting any other clients that night. Still, did it help? Yeah, it helped me cool down a lot. So, from what Dana told me, someone close to you died, right? Yeah. Do you want to know more about it? Well, do you want to tell me about it? I've brought it up enough times already, I think. No problem. Then, uh, you were sad, that's all I needed to know. Sorry for the loss, though, I mean, you know, I mean it. Thanks. Although I've wondered for a while, do you Williams really understand death? Uh, although, uh, yeah, we're dead. Sorry, I was messed up. Sort of, kind of. Our whole, you know, database is constantly being up, you know, backed up in a collective source. Even if our bodies are destroyed, we can be deployed again with our personalities and memories intact. So, our concept of mortality might be different. We do have a fear of death, though. You do? We can't even begin to understand the idea of not being redeployed. While we have built-in warnings, the mere idea of that nothingness is paralyzing. There are a few that don't mind it, but we do fear death and we don't wish it on anyone. In fact, that was the argument used for abolishing the whole Three Laws thing. You seem quite knowledgeable about robot history. Seeing what others have done to make sure I can live like I do helps me not take things for granted. Seriously though, those laws were bullshit. Can't harm humans, can't disobey humans unless it's about hurting them, and you can't protect yourself as long as it doesn't harm humans. I mean, sure, the first AIs were just helpers and tools, but how could those laws still apply to them after they've achieved self-awareness? Who in their right mind would be able to abide only by rules inscribed in some old book. If I remember correctly, those were only the distilled versions of the law some writer imagined over a hundred years ago. They were a reduced version of all his ideas. However, many authors afterwards took to them like they were the very laws of physics or something. And like many other things, people distilled and exaggerated what they need and used it for to their favor. Wow, you're a nerd. Look who's talking. Let's change the subject a bit, though. Mood's getting gloomy. Your apartment is very comfy, you know. It's a tad small, though. Sorry about that. And your cat is so cute! What was his name again? Foray. Why Foray? I figured if he ever got lost, at least I wanted to be able to yell for... Okay, I'm stupid for saying 4A because I would... Yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, I happened once, uh, you'd be surprised by how many golf players you run into. And every time you play... Uh, with him you can say it's 4Play. <laughs> yeah. He was also named after... someone. Really? Who? A little M kid that uh, wanted to uh, transcend. What? A movie character or something? Sure, let's go with that. Well, do you want anything else? Hmm. Let's go with the Blue Fairy. Alright then. Okay, and we got aged, mixed. There you go. Why do they call it a blue fairy? Well, probably because it's blue. Is it because of Pinocchio? I believe the name is based off Absence, which was called the Green Fairy. True. 
The first version of the drink were described as sweeter absinthe. Sadly, they had to fix the formula because people were turning green. Not blue? A bluish green. You seem to have cheered up a bit there. Yeah, talking to you always helps me get my mind off things. Yeah, there's something I've wondered for a while now. What? What kind of friends do you have? I mean, are they in the same line of work or... Friends? Aside from you? Thanks. Hmm. Well, there's Lawrence. The vending machine is a lot of fun to be with. Once you get past his quirkiness, that is. I've also met a lot of nice people working the streets. From the top of my head, I can think about... Nightingale, another Lilium. He changes himself to have a fur and more wolf-like face. He's also a pretty good pianist. Plays in the jazz band on the weekends. There's also Nidra, a drag queen and the owner of the club I've been invited to a few times. She has an animal shelter on the side. I help her with it occasionally. Oh, there's also uh, Sister Clementine, a nun from her orphanage. I go there sometimes and play with the kids. Whoa, 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 that's something I didn't expect to hear. Also, almost got adopted once. I was flattered, but it was weird. Hope it wasn't, uh, Madougal or whatever it was. Oh, and it turns out I already knew your boss. Some years ago, she... She what? What? I said too much. Client confidentially and all. Ahem. <clears throat> Well, enough of uh, tangents. Why are you gloomy in the first place? Gloomy? When you came in, I don't know if gloomy was the right word, but you were pretty quiet at the very least. And knowing you and how you normally are, it was pretty weird. Oh, don't worry about that. Just had one too many things on my mind. It wasn't gloomy or anything. More like distracted, really. Did you get one of those messages from the that the Lilliams are getting? Well, I think I'll be going now. Thanks for lending me an ear, honey. Now, my boss told you about the party tomorrow, right? Yep. I wouldn't dare miss it. Okay, then. All right, then. See you tomorrow. Oh, good luck. Thanks. And that's that. Boss, I'm going to be taking my break. All right. <laughs>